Welcome to another episode of Fortex Rides. So today I'm going to tell you about a four-stroke engine. So today you can see I have a cutway model with me. So by this you can have you can get some best elaboration and the proper working of the engine. Let's get started, guys. So from top uh, you can call this as a cylinder head. Uh, you can see the line over this is a complete cylinder head. Okay, this is your intake manifold. That is your exhaust manifold intake valve exhaust valve these are both springs these are the rocker arms your push rods this is a model of ohv engine okay and down this you can see uh, here is your camshaft so i hope i can show you this one inside is your camshaft okay that is a flywheel okay carburetor this is your piston the connecting rod crankshaft uh, flywheel again and these are the gears from crankshaft to camshaft okay and this is your somehow the ignition system okay you can see this type is looking like the contact point ignition system so how do it works so guys in the start uh, the four stroke engine it has definitely four operations intake compression power and exhaust so first See, when your engine moves, see the first stroke. When the first stroke happens, like piston is moving down, your intake valve opens. When it opens, definitely you see that air uh, entering inside the engine from the carburetor. Here the fuel mixes up, it makes air fuel mixture and flows to the engine cylinder. All right, when your intake stroke is complete. Now the next one is your compression. As the compression begins, you can see your both valve closes. So thereby keeping all the pressure, all the air fuel mixture inside the engine, okay? As far as moves up, you can see, now both valves are closed. At this stage, your air fuel mixture has uh, compressed to this region. This is known as your clearance volume or this is your combustion chamber or the squish volume. So now at this stage, the spark plug fires, gives uh, a spark over here. Due to that spark, the air fuel mixture uh, just explodes okay by explosion it expands and pushes the piston down again as a result this stroke is called the power stroke okay now from this you can see both valve are closed spark plug just delivers a spark and your airful mixture explodes and the pistons move down so here this fourth one fourth operation is the exhaust stroke how this is exhaust you can see now when the piston again moves up the exhaust valve has opened okay when it opens the uh, burnt air fuel mixture or the byproducts are flowing outside the engine through this manifold you can see starting from here again the intake stroke compression power and the exhaust okay meanwhile this your operation continues okay you can see and you can just imagine that at high speeds, high RPMs, how quickly the valves and these things will be working like, okay? So, you know that your car engine is basically water-cooled, so water flows to these jackets. It does not enter any of the operation inside, okay? It just keeps around the liner, takes out the heat, and goes toward the radiator and dissipate heat. During your intake stroke, the push rod uh, camshaft just lifts above the push rod it then acts on the rocker arm and the rocker arm you can see opens your valve now the speed difference uh, the ratio of speed between crankshaft is camshaft is 2 ratio 1 which means uh, 2 revolution of crankshaft makes 1 revolution of your camshaft so these are some parts okay you can have a close look clearly oh there's right is the spark plug okay <coughs> It's an easy elaboration, I guess. I hope you understand. And there is nothing difficult. So by this, just pay attention to this video. Watch the video uh, again and again until you learn.
so thank you for watching guys i hope you can understand the operation of a four stroke engine so uh in comment section write down below that if you like the educational content or not so so that i may know that how much of you are interested or no because uh, my goal is to teach all of you guys that how the basics of an engine works so definitely you will be you will be feeling easy in finding out problem in your own engine in your own motorcycle so it's basically a good thing so share this video as much as possible because this is knowledge sharing okay Thank you for watching, stay tuned and we'll see you next time.